Hello and welcome to the April Historics Auctions here at Ascot Racecourse. We've got over 150 lots to get through from off-road behind us here to supercars and everything in between. Please come down and see them all for yourself. We have got preview days today, Thursday and Friday from 9am to 5pm and then the auction itself on Saturday. You do need to pre-register in order to bid so you can do that when you're here or online at historics.co.uk. Right, that done. Should we go and see some cars? Do let's. This 1991 Honda NSX, complete with the number plate, is Honda's supercar and has been sprinkled with some Formula One magic because Ayrton Senna had a very big hand in its handling. Under here is a V6 engine, it's a rear-wheel drive car, and this particular model has an automatic gearbox. Its estimate is between 65 and 75,000 pounds. Welcome to this 2013 Airstream International 685. Won't you come in? Outside, it is instantly recognisable thanks to its rounded and polished coachwork, and inside it is a joy to be in. We have a double bed here that also can be a sofa, a lovely kitchen, sliding doors for the cupboards. We have a bathroom here and three beds at the back for proper family fun. Its estimate is between 32 and 40,000 pounds. And I think I want it. This 1987 Ford Sierra RS Cosworth is simply awesome, in my opinion, not least because of the whale tail. Ford enjoyed success with the car on and off the track, and this particular one has been a labour of love for a father and son team for about 20 years. Under the bonnet is a 550 brake horsepower engine. The underside of the car is painted in the same colour as the body and it is Group A spec and road legal. The estimate at our auction is between 80 and 85,000 pounds. This is a 2017 Ultima GTR. Now it's a British based company that make Le Mans inspired supercars. It has got a 6.2 litre engine in it. It is road legal and its estimate is between 45 and 50,000 pounds. Thank you, Vicky. Now, lot number 141 is a car that needs no introduction whatsoever. I'm going to give it an introduction anyway. This is a Golf Mach 1 GTI. It is presenting in original condition. It's got its original wheels and 19 service stamps in the book. The interior literally looks brand new and I think there's going to be a bit of a bidding frenzy on this car. Estimate is between 12 and 16,000 pounds but if you're looking at an iconic hot hatch it doesn't get much more iconic than this. This is the granddad of all hot hatches. I love these. No auction preview would be complete without me fawning over a Porsche. So lot number 152 is a 993 911. Of course, the last of the air-cooled Porsches. This is a base Carrera 2 in polar silver with a lovely dark blue interior. It's got a manual gearbox and actually very, very rarely for these cars, only two true owners from new. It also benefited from a five and a half thousand pound respray in 2015. It presents absolutely brilliantly and the estimate on this car is below 48,000 pounds. A surefire winner for the future. Lot number 119 then is a bit of a quirky one. Bet you didn't think I was going to be previewing this one. This is a car that I actually wanted to buy many, many moons ago and actually a really rare piece of kit. It is a CLK 63 AMG. And effectively what you're looking at is the former F1 safety car in convertible guise. It has got that stonking 6.2 litre V8 under the bonnet. The roof obviously comes off and it is a Mercedes build quality throughout. The estimate on this car is actually, the top end is £26,000, so you're looking probably below that. A huge amount of car, very, very rare, and a naturally aspirated V8 engine, hand-built by AMG. What more could you want? Lot number 112 then, sticking with the Mercedes-Benz theme, is this V12 Mercedes SEC. 
600 is a six liter v12 engine it is a two-door coupe it is absolutely enormous and it is only covered 53,000 miles these are super sought after by collectors i can't remember the last time i saw one of these on the road it's got so so much presence this was mercedes flagship car back in 1993 when this car was built and is available to bid on at this saturday's auction good luck Thank you, Tom. First up for me, lot 192, and this is a Jaguar 1973 Series 3 Roadster E-Type. Now, it's absolutely beautiful, but the main catch on this one is it's done just over 2,500 miles from new. That is incredibly rare in a car of this age, likely to do very well at the weekend. It's between 94 and 110, I think, is the estimation. So watch this one at the weekend. It's bound to be one of the best sellers. Next up, lot 229. This Willys or CJ Civilian Jeep. This is a CJ5 and it looks like it's all rusty, but it's not. It's what they call rat look. And this has five coats of lacquer on this paintwork. It's smooth as you like, very cool looking, perfect for the beach. Boasting a 4.3 litre straight six engine. It's had a complete body off restoration. It's then dry stored. It's beautiful, it's absolutely stunning. The estimate on this is 18 to 24, but there's one more thing I need to show you is this fabulous custom painted air filter by artist Nina Brook. As I said, this is absolutely perfect for the beaches of Cornwall and Devon. So uh, I think this will do really well. I really love it. I think it's great fun. Nestled between these two RS Cosworths is this lovely little 355 GTS. The reason I like this one is probably strange for most, but it's because it's high mileage, 141,000 kilometers. But for me, that means it works, and it works very, very well. This particular car, estimated 48 to 52, so it's not that expensive. It's in lovely condition, considering the mileage. Left-hand drive, it's in Rosso Corsa, of course, and that beautiful Targa top. It's absolutely perfect to take across to Europe and have a blast. Lot 172. Now, either I've grown or this is shrunk. This is a Hummer HX, fully electric. It will do 40, 45 miles an hour. It will do 50 miles range. It's congestion charge exempts. Not only that, it's road registered. Now this particular is no reserve. It's a very cool piece of kit. It's certainly no golf buggy. It's very quick. It's very cool. I've got no idea how much it's going to make, but it's going to be very interesting to watch. That's just a few of the wonderful machines we have got on offer for you. Please come down and see them all for yourselves. We are open today, Thursday, Friday for previews, and then of course the auction itself is on Saturday. If you are watching us here on YouTube, please do like and subscribe. You can even leave us a comment. If you are listening to our podcast, please go to the relevant subscription platforms. We are there. It'd be great to have you listen to us every month, what on about cars. But of course, also on Instagram, where we actually feature many of the cars before they hit the interweb. So do go there, do follow us, and we look forward to seeing you all at our next auction. Yep, our podcast actually is on uh, the 25th of April, and then we have a podcast towards the end of every single month. So do, do join us there. Until next time, bye-bye.